up to you. So do one or two coats, depending on what you need. I'm not gonna probably paint the edges right now. I may go back later and paint them. You may need a, two coats, depending on the wood that you are using. So go ahead and start using your white paint and I am gonna do two coats probably on my heart. Because there's one coat. It needs a, a little bit more coverage. So go ahead and just start your white on your heart. I will try to go slow for you guys. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I will try to catch them as they pop up. I can stop and answer any questions you have, just like if we were in an actual paint class with me. I know some of you have been to paint parties with me and they're so much fun. Like I said, our Christmas one was a little chaotic due to the space that we had. And it honestly, it just, we didn't have enough space. It made it a little bit tight, but we will fix that for this year. And I said I wasn't gonna paint my edges, but I am. If you have a hair dryer handy, you can grab a hair dryer and that can help speed up the process a little bit for some of the paint that we're going to do. Totally up to you. One other thing that you can paint while you have your white paint out is if you have the add-on block, paint it all white. There is one thing that I would love to ask you guys to do for me at the end of this. You don't have to do it at the end today, but maybe by the time you send me your pictures, just let me know, kind of do a review of what you thought of the paint party, if it was something that um, you learned things from, or if it was something that was just um, something that you would do again. Kind of like when you buy something from Amazon or Etsy and well, mostly Etsy. I don't think you can leave reviews on Amazon, but um, just like that, like you would leave a normal review on anything. So if you guys can all do that for me, that would be fantastic because I may use those in some of my upcoming marketing materials. So the majority of you have pine wood. Some of you have MDF. So the MDF is what is going to need probably two coats of paint. And the only reason that some of you have one and some of you have another is because thanks to the lovely quarantine, when I ran out of one, I tried to get the other and the quarantine has made it kind of difficult to put some of the boxes together when I was limited on where I could go. Okay. I am going, and we're going to scoop like that. And I went over it a few times. You can tell it's not perfect, okay? I'm gonna let this set and dry. You can go over it with a second coat. You can tell it's not completely covered, but I'm gonna let it dry because you don't want to try and do a second coat yet. But you can go back and do a second coat. So now you're just gonna eyeball it. And I promise you that you can eyeball it. You're gonna put about that much space and then you're gonna do your next one. So you're gonna put a little bit more yellow on your brush. Like I said, you can do these straight across if you want. If it's easier for you to do straight across, you can do that. So now we're going to start here and I'm gonna do the same thing. So you're basically making it the width of your brush. That's how big your stripe is going to be. Now we're going to do one more probably. And this one probably won't show too much just because of our 
are So I hear my youngest in the other room right now. He's in our um, workout, weight room, whatever you want to call it. Um, and Zoom, I would be curious to see the percentage of these. enough coats on it for you as well. So next month is going to be a little ladybug, and I wasn't going to do it as a kit, but I had enough people that were like, I cannot wait for that ladybug. I was just going to do it as a special kit that you could put together and just follow written directions, but I think that we're going to go ahead and do that as next month's kit, and I don't, <laughs> my intention was not to do insects and things like that like all summer but in talking to another lady who is wanting who's in this group she was unable to be here tonight but she's going to watch the replay she bought the kit and I was thinking dragonflies and she was thinking flamingos oh my gosh how cute would that be you guys if we did flamingos so the bee would be really great on your door right now yes so excited for the ladybug it's cute I'll go ahead and I'm using, if I use the very tip of my brush, I can kind of line where my yellow was. The black is going to cover very well, so you're not going to need two coats of it, okay? Now, as you can tell, that's not a straight line, you guys, okay? It does not have to be perfect. My stuff isn't perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Now, in an ideal world, in a perfect world, this space right here is the same width of my, you can tell it's not, it goes up on the red, the yellow a little bit, but that's okay. I'm still going to use this, and I'm going to use the same technique that I did for the yellow. We're going to put a little bit more paint on it because I didn't get enough on my brush. And I think that's pretty stinking cute. Oh, I got too, see there? I got too much. But that's okay. We're just going to fill it in. And we're going to make that little oopsie something that was supposed to be there. be easier if I set this down while I was painting it. Anyway, I can hear my son's coach in the other room. So really, I was like, what are they going to do on their, pra their baseball practices while we're in quarantine? Because he's like, I still want to hold a practice. And I was like, what in the world are they going to be doing? But they're just doing a lot of conditioning, things like that. Lots of burpees and sit-ups, a lot of core stuff. There you go. That's what you guys should be, it should start looking like this. Now, as you can tell, I didn't measure at all, so there's more black on this side than this side because I didn't measure my lines at all, and that's a-okay. I love it because this one isn't perfect either. And it still turned out super cute. All right, I'm going to do the head now. If you are still doing your stripes, that's okay. Don't feel like you have to rush to keep up with me. So if you have the MDF, I'm going to, I'm going to explain the difference between the two different woods. So this is kind of what I do um, when I do lives on my Facebook page. I just do quick tutorials for you guys. Follow me. Sorry, guys. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here. 
Now be careful, like I said, because high temp will burn. I can pretty much, and I have a little bit of maneuverability when I'm using the hot, the high temp. With the low temp, you pretty much, it, it basically comes out of this and it starts drying as soon as it hits your piece. And so you got to put the other piece on top. Um, high temp has a little bit of give, um, not a lot, not like a minute, but it has um, several seconds longer. So you can maneuver a little bit. I'm putting a pretty big chunk on there. Okay. Don't be shy with the hot glue. We're going to set that there and make it stick. All right. So there we have this. You can point them up if you want. You can make them go out, whichever. So one thing when you are painting, I probably should have said this before you guys started on your little blocks of wood for those of you that have them. Um, any of the blocks of wood that you give me will be pine. I won't do those in MDF. MDF is thinner and I like to be able to do these to where they stand by themselves. Um, anyway, so when you are doing that, you always want to paint with the grain. The paint's just going to look better. Because if you don't go with the grain, then you're going to be able to see the grain in it, but then your paint strokes are going to be different, and it's just not going to look good. If you want it to be a nice piece, you want to go with the grain. For those of you that did the sign, I think that was probably a good, it was probably half and half. Um, half of you wanted it and half of you just wanted the B. But we're gonna, we're gonna be using vinyl on it. We will, other months, we will do things and Okay, we're gonna let that dry now. Just backwards. I'm just gonna set it and drag it. Just like that, all right? And you can tell that it kind of swoops off at the end, okay? That's all we're gonna do. Now, since I'm going this way, you want to make sure they all go that way. That's probably the only rule when doing this because then you don't want to come up here and swoop this way, okay? So once you start away, you want to all go, you want them to all go that way. So we'll do this one. And as you can tell, like this one's smaller than this one. No rhyme or reason whatsoever. Ooh, that's a lot of paint. There you go. No rhyme or reason. Okay. So now we're going to go down to the body and we're going to do the same thing. Okay. I may put one tiny one down here. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. So you're going to want to just like put your brush down and just swipe really fast. And as you do it, you're going to pull up and that's what's going to end that. Okay. It's probably going to be better if I lay it down. All 
All right, there you go. Okay, so now I'm going to get the white off my brush. And then I'll do the black. And we're gonna do it the same way, except we're gonna do it on our wings. And then I'm gonna do a little bit on the yellow where I have the bunny, or the bunny, the bee where I have the bee stripes. Make sure it's dry before you put your hand in another spot. Okay. So here is, let me try to hold it. Here's the white. This is what the other one looked like. Okay, they're not the same at all. Okay. And I am gonna show you how to do that speckled look in there. So you'll have to tell me if you like the speckled look. Hi, Rebecca. Um, my husband didn't. He said he thought it was dirty. I'm like, well, okay. So it's personal preference. I will show you how to do it. And if you want to do it on yours, that's totally up to you. You don't have to. I definitely. Okay, so we're going to take our brush and we're just going to flick. And like I said, this is going to get paint all over you. You can wear gloves if you want. Can you see what it's doing? Can you tell? I like the paint speckled look. Um, not everybody does. So see there, that, that has lots of speckles. I like it. And then you can do the white speckles too. Okay, let's clean my hands with these are. So you're gonna wanna rub down your vinyl with a credit card or something like that, okay? There's three layers to when you are getting this. You have your paper layer, and then you have your vinyl, and then you have your transfer tape layer, okay? So after you press it all down, what you're doing is you're trying to get that, the vinyl is stuck to the white paper on the back. Okay, and in doing this, you are wanting to get it adhered to the transfer tape on top. So once you do that, you should be able to pull and it should come up. Okay, if it wants to stick, just lay it down and rub it a little bit more. But it should come up. Just, just pull very slow, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to, this may not be dry enough. Just make sure it's really dry. And we're gonna put this on here. I don't think I did that. No, I don't think I have the right size cut for mine, you guys. So you're gonna take your transfer or your credit card again and push it down. You may have to hold it. So before you do this step, I would let your wood dry overnight, okay? Because your transfer tape could potentially pull up some of your paint because it hasn't cured, okay? So I know how to touch it up, but I would wait because it's probably not going to want to stick really well if your paint isn't cured yet either. And I think I don't have the right size, but that's okay. So there's our B. And then we have our black that says be kind. And it doesn't want to peel very well. Of course it doesn't. Hey, Parker. He's not going to listen. Hopefully you guys can't hear him. Okay. 
This one didn't want to pill very well. What? You need to be quiet, baby. Okay. I'm actually not going to worry about finishing this yet. Since I showed you how to put down the transfer tape on the first one. Actually, we'll just do it. Okay. And then you're going to pull this off the same way. Okay? That's all we're going to do there. I'm the scraps I had, I and I sent you guys all the same. So we're going to lay them just like this in an X. Okay? And then I have my black tool. Actually, do I have two pieces there? No, just three. So you're going to want to lay this way, lay this way, lay this way, lay this way. Okay, you're, okay, this is better. Lay this way, lay this way, and then lay this way. So you're going to crisscross each time. And you will probably have to trim these. Whoops, my tool is sticking together. And then this. I will share, I have a video on how to do this. So if you guys are struggling with this, I, I will post the video in here of how to do, to do this that walks you through it. So now I'm going to take some of this white and lay it and crisscross it and then lay this one. And I'm going to be trimming this white for sure. And... Let's, let's do one more black. Let me cut my tool in half here. Try to anyway. Okay. Some of my yellow and that way. Okay, I am going to have to trim some of this, but we'll trim it once we get it on the body. So you're going to have this, okay? That's what it's going to look like. You're going to take your pipe, or your twist tie, okay? And you're going to put it on top of the front, and you're going to lay it upside down, okay? And we're basically going to zip tie this all together. So if you can see, if you um, swipe the comments to the right, you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. So we're basically going to zip tie all this together. Just like that. Okay? And now I'm going to trim this so we don't have that hanging. And then we're going to trim some of these. You can cut your edge, edges decoratively if you want. I tend to do that sometimes. So we'll do that with the white ones here. If you fold it in half, does it, what are you saying, Kathy? Dessines up or down. I think that was a typo. So you got your zip tie. You want your zip tie part to be on the back. Mine's kind of to the side. So you can, mine's kind of right there. Will the zip tie show? No, because you can use a piece of your ribbon or a piece of your twine and you're basically going to tie it over the front and you won't be able to see it. You can use um, a ribbon or twine to hide it, so no. So I'm going to hold this and I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to show you how to do a dovetail, which some of you may know. So my open sides are over here. Okay, it opens that way. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut up if I get my scissors. These aren't my fabric scissors. My fabric scissors are with my masks right now. And then it creates this dovetail. Okay, I'm going to do that with all of my white ones. Like I said, you guys have um, a lot of different fun color ribbons. You don't have exactly what I have. I will um, 
go ahead and post the video in here as soon as I'm done. The shows you how to do the ribbon. Okay, so next up, I am going to cut this twine in half. And I'm going to take a piece of twine and I'm just going to wrap it around this and just tie a regular bow on top like you would a shoe, shoestring, okay? Okay, maybe. It doesn't want to be tight. Oops. I don't know why it's not wanting to get tight. I may have to stick some hot glue on it. Okay, so I have my bow there. I'll probably trim this a little bit. So two things, if you have other twine or you have extra twine, you can wrap it around and tie it around your bee's neck. Or you can, if you have high temp glue, you can uh, just glue it. I'm gonna go ahead and tie the ribbon. So I have the tails like this, and I'm going to tie it around its neck, and I'm just gonna stick a little bit of hot glue there. So we'll put a little bit of hot glue here. And we're gonna situate it right there. Okay, you're just gonna put it right there. I think I got 10% of my battery left and we're almost done. I think we did that perfect. So I'm gonna bring these around to the back and then I'm gonna tie it as well, just to adhere it a little bit more. There we go. You can hot glue it back center of his head at top. Hey, Parker, be quiet. Parker, real life folks. Let that dry real quick. It is hot, hot, hot. All right, so now we have the hot, or our antennas. So now you can take them, and the best thing I do is take like a, a pencil. Hey, Parker! Parker! Stop! There you go. Just like that. So you take your pencils. I apologize, guys. He got off of practice, and now he's playing a video game. So just take a pencil and, whoops, push that one out of the way, and just wrap wrap it around. These are a little long. I think I'm going to trim them a little bit. Let's trim them about there. 